As the founder of the hedge fund Scion Capital, Michael Burry had already shown his predictive abilities when he made a killing by shorting overvalued tech stocks just as the dot-com bubble was about to burst. In 2007, he cross-referenced several strands of seemingly unrelated information to accurately foresee the failure of a real estate bubble built on the questionable lending practices of the US subprime mortgage market, which were exacerbated by remarkably asinine financial derivatives engineering. Together, these then standard operating procedures had left the US housing market and financial services sector horribly, yet covertly, exposed. They were sleepwalking towards the edge of an extremely high cliff. Had Bury not spotted the signals, Siam would have been on the precipice. Instead, he bought heavily into credit default swaps against subprime mortgage derivatives which led many of his investors to try and withdraw their money. They were just a little bit cross at the cost, as the costs of the swaps rose. Burry's foresight was vindicated when the venerable and prestigious US bank Lehman Brothers went bankrupt in September 2008, presaging the entire global banking sector going into freefall. While a panicked G20 pumped trillions of dollars into banks and the International Monetary Fund and governments hastily promised banking reforms, which largely failed to materialize, at Scion, Berry quietly pocketed $100 million personally, while his investors took home $700 million. That is situational awareness. Thank you.